What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Yes, there's a chef out on my avatar. Yes, there's going to be some still images, but I'm not doing the freeze frames. I'm not doing the stop motion. I'm not doing the comments at the end because honestly, this is a very frustrating video to make because if you've watched Chantal for any amount of time, you know there's a couple consistents. She cares about nothing but herself. She neglects her animals. And she takes advantage of both of those situations to generate as much views and interest in her channel as she can. And when pushed back regarding animals, she will defend herself by saying she had cats for 19 years. Now, let's just start off by saying the lies are done, Chantel. Stop the whole, the family we got her from, garbage, okay? We now know, without the shadow of a doubt, that you took this cat in from the street where you found this cat. And you brought this cat onto your channel 100% to spite the community, because you needed views, you needed attention, and you needed, in some case, to spite FFG. And you're getting all of that now. And your poor decisions are now impacting this animal yet again. And you sit here and you trot out another story of animal neglect, because your views are down. And you know, if nothing else, this will bring you views. So, to go back to the whole story, which is just that, it's a lot more logical now to understand why quote, the people you got her from didn't know her age. And that because, quote, the people you got her from didn't have any vet records, you didn't know what to do, nor did you ask for them. At the end of the day, the cat now needs to be vaccinated. And I would also offer whoever was just watching this cat while you were on your little vacation would be in question because they took in an animal that wasn't vaccinated. So how was that animal properly sheltered while you were gone? Because at least here, no shelter is going to take in an animal without it being vaccinated, without proof of vaccination. So here you are back a couple days, and we have to start to talk about neglect, ignorance, in some cases, just mindlessness, because you think that this animal, or animals in general, I guess, have a menstrual cycle. They don't, Chantal. They are reacting to the scent of a male animal close by. Now, I, I know that you like to sit there and tell these little cute stories of, oh, Julia's putting her butt in the air, and I'm looking at her and saying, I'm not your boyfriend, there isn't anything I can do. But what I would offer is, this, again, is the result of whoever was just watching her, not actually being proper sighted to do so, and more than likely, that's where some of the male interaction she had started. This is not a cat cycle, Chantal. It's not going to go off being on heat. You know, I've covered, if you go back, the stray cat situation in Kuwait. It's a massive problem they have. I don't see any vet failing to fix an animal if it's properly seen. Because, if anything, they would want to do everything they could to slow the cat population, which is already out of control, from growing. And Chantel knows this. Every time they go out, they see cats here, there, everywhere. I want to say that, at least at some point, I don't fully believe Chantel knows this is her fault. And I know that's going to frustrate someone, but I want you to understand the perspective I had is that Chantel believes that merely feeding the cat makes you a good cat owner. And I would express to you that that is very much how Chantal lives her life. When she is sad, she eats. When she is happy, she eats. When she is angry, she eats. When she is bored, she eats. So this means every time the cat meows, she will give it food. Because that is how she handles herself. She knows nothing about being a proactive pet owner. She was never going to take this cat to the vet unless Salah pushed it. And, and honestly, I have faith because we don't have a whole lot of knowledge about Salah. I do actually have faith that he will force her to do the right thing. And in all sincerity, if he does, then he'll probably gain a little bit of respect in the community for at least taking care of the animal. He does seem to care for the animal. But to me, when you look at the video she just did, the video was focused around the cat and the problem the cat is having. If we go back in time to when they got the hamster, he was told you can't have more than one hamster because if you do... They're going to have issues. She should have known if she got any animal that that could be a problem. But again, she's not there 
to be a pet owner. She's there to have the pet as a character on her YouTube channel. That's why it's in the thumbnail. That's why it's the topic of the video, because she knows, if nothing else, people like myself, guilty as charged, will come on here and showcase what she said in the past versus what she said today. People will discuss the past issues that she has that has been well documented and express an opinion that most of us will agree hinges on the fact that she doesn't care about her pets. She doesn't care about anything in her life other than how can she manipulate it into interest on her YouTube channel. That is why she sits there and eats copious amounts of food. That is why she sits there now and has to cook food as a way to shelter herself from the upcoming YouTube regulations that will more than likely impact her channel to some degree. And that's why in the past we've seen her do everything in excess. Whether it was chasing Natter, whether it was eating fast food, whether it was raging all hours of the night, whether it was other things that she chose to divulge in. This is just another example in a long list of examples that shows anyone that's watched Chantal for, I would say, more than three months, exactly the type of person that she is. And this is a stark reminder that, again, the community often pushes back against Chantal to do the right thing, and she is well beyond hearing that because she thinks that's telling her what to do. She thinks that's people projecting her how to be. She thinks that's someone calling her stupid because they're giving her advice. But in this situation, the advice she was being given was not for her. It was for the overall wellness of the animals. And she is just too blinded by her own desire to say that she can never be wrong. Her own desire to say that she's healed all the issues that she has. She knows better than everyone else. No one else understands her but her. And no one else has the right to project anything. Be it a reaction channel, be it a commenter, be it a channel that's devoted to helping her. I can only imagine that this same mindset is what she uses when she goes back to her so-called YouTube manager and they give her advice on how to grow her channel. They probably gave her advice, like many of us did, regarding her cooking channel to get better angles, get a more professional setup, focus on getting plates that aren't made of paper, silverware that's not made of plastic, more than two pans. She doesn't do any of those things. Not because she doesn't want to, but because she would rather sit there and defy everyone's advice for the betterment of her being right. And this is another example in a long list of examples of exactly why animals in her care do not get proper treatment because she would rather do things to defy someone than listen to what they have to say. And that's why I ultimately said the only way this is going to be resolved properly is Sala, because we've already seen the extreme ignorance this person has and the defiance that they continue to stand on for the simple sake of having a cat that they can use on their YouTube channel that she knows when, when times are down, when views are low, all she had to do was put up a video talking about the improper care of the cat, and there are going to be people that flood to her channel, my channel, other channels. And I'm sure there's going to be people that say, oh, this is no big deal, this is an innocent mistake, but I would also, again tell you to go back and look at how she cared for her cats in her room with the litter box never cleaned with food strewn all over how the cats would constantly be all over the counter this is just another example in a now growing list of examples as to why this person does not need to care for animals any longer love to know your thoughts on this appreciate you watching this video and you know i will be back hopefully a little less frustrated with chantal as soon as i can with more content